Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Disney I Love You Forever unboxing. We've got the second set of three girls. We have got the dolls that are inspired by Tiana, Belle, and Snow White. And they are all super cute in their glow-in-the-dark downtown Disney kind of vibes. These all retail for $29.99 on Shop Disney and they are super cute. These are of course dolls that are inspired by the Disney bounding um, tradition of characters, of people going to the parks in outfits inspired by their characters. This is the third release of, um, of Disney I Love You Forever. This is the second release by Shop Disney. Now, there are going to be more Jack Pacific dolls. I think it's going to be in the same way that we were getting um, classic dolls from Disney Store and from uh, and from Disney Collection, um, which was available at like um, I think J.C. Penney for a while had kind of a lock on those. And they were almost the exact same dolls, but they had different levels of articulation. So, I think that's going to be what's going on with the Disney I Love You Forever. Now, I personally, I like both of them. I like these from Shop Disney more because they have double articulated knees. And I'm a big fan of double articulation when it comes to knees and elbows. But a lot of people don't love the way it looks. I prefer range of motion over looks, but that's okay. So we're going to go over these dolls and we're going to see what all is in each one. We're going to start off with Miss Tiana. As you can see, she is very cute. She is very much green inspired. She has got a new necklace. She has got a fun little uh, frothy foamy drink. She's got a little mini backpack purse thing. She has got a rain jacket, and her outfit is super cute. She also has ears that glow in the dark. They're very cute, very much inspired by Tiana's crown. And inside her balloon is, of course, one of our food surprises. So let's take a look at her box. Again, here she is on the back. Here is her other part. Here is the UPC. Again, Shop Disney is really the only place that we're going to find these right now. The first three from the last video were all available at Target. As of the other day, these are still not available at Target, so I'm saying they are only available at Shop Disney. These three and the boy, Sven, are only available at Shop Disney. So if you can't find it at Target, where are you going to look? That's right, Amazon, because they sell them <laughs> directly from Shop Disney through Amazon. So, I'm going to pause and uh, take her out of the box. All right, we have got our Tiana-inspired doll unboxed, and she is so cute. Let's get a close-up of that face. Again, we have the insert eyes. They are very cute. She's got almost pink eyes, not just brown. Uh, she does have her earring holes, if you want to put the earrings from the first release in her. Um, close up of this shirt. Good quality. Hemmed and lined with the ribbon. The skirt is super cute. The cut goes all the way around. Um, it does have the little underwear strap also to hold it in place. She has got a little Fitbit. Close up of those ears. She is very cute. She does have a little bit of like gloss on her face and I'm not sure what that's from, but you can see that it's really glossy. Um, I'll probably hit her with an alcohol wipe before I put her into the collection. And here is the close up on her shoes. Very cute, new mold. We love it. Um, again, we've got double articulated knees, articulated ankles, 
Uh, oh, it looks like they did fix the problem with the legs that would pop off. Okay, good. So a little bit more stable in the leg department. That's good. We've got her necklace right there. It's very cute. I'm here for it. It's a little uh, like a dragonfly, I think, on there. Either that or it's supposed to be a lightning bug. But very cute. Sits right above her, um, right above her top. Whoop, there she goes. <laughs> Uh, we've got a little Princess Tiana silhouette on her cup. Very cute. We love when we get those. Here is her bag. Again, very cute. It does actually have a spot you could put things. So that's lovely. We love a little frog bag. Uh, and then we've got her jacket. This one does have a lightning bug on it. Nothing here on the back, that's great. We've got a different kind of lining here in the hood. It's a, uh, a jersey, like basketball jersey kind of material. Um, so that's fun. Let's see how well these sleeves go on. Okay, nice and easy, through the cuff. Probably one of the easiest jackets I've put on from this series. Very cute when it's on. It's a little bit more of like a windbreaker material than I would love, but it's still super cute. So she's not bad. And the last piece that we get is our Mickey balloon. Again, the characters get different color Mickey heads on here, um, but the surprises inside are randomized. So let's see who we got. Oh, we got a mini waffle. Oh, that's so cute. It's a really big plate too. So very fun. Just a reminder, these are the ones that we could get there and over here we got our snow cone the rice krispie treat and i think the mickey had last time or it was um it may have been the sandwiches i want the mini mouse candy apples to go with my mickey mouse from series one that is my goal today, is to get that one. I'm going to be so sad if I don't get them out of all seven dolls. Um, but, again, that's what life happens. Uh, so, let's take a look at our next one. We're going to look at Belle. She is very cute. She has got a backpack. She has got a hoodie. She's got a water bottle. She's actually got Belle on her shirt. I like this little ruffle skirt. I've got high hopes for it. Um, she's got some boots on down there. And her ears have a stained glass effect. Right there. So, very cool. She's also got a wristlet on there. So let's see. Again, there she is in the back. Again, over here, on a close-up, and here is the UPC. Very cute. So, we'll be right back. I'm going to get her unboxed. All right, we have got our Belle-inspired doll out of the box, and she is super cute. This is such a rich brown for her hair, and she's got just that little bit of pink in there. She's also one of our few dolls that has earrings. 
little flower earrings. Very cute. Again, here is her, um, here are the ears. They are slightly transparent, that's fun. Here is Belle, right there on her shirt. She has got little roses on her little wrist cuff. Very cute boots with bows. Again, a nice new mold. They don't really reuse a ton of molds, I've noticed. Um, but she's gorgeous. We are here for that. Um, I was a little sad she didn't get any jewelry, and then I saw she had earrings. So, we're good. We've got the Beauty and the Beast rose right there. This does not open, unfortunately, so that's fine. Uh, we've got her backpack, which is a very cool. It is actually transparent. Can't really see it very much, but it is a transparent plastic, so that's an actual stained glass window. And the uh, bag does open up if you want to try to put things in there. Very cool. That's a new mold. I'm here for that. And we've got a rose hoodie. This is much more in the classic hoodie um, style, so that's good. So let's see how it looks on her real quick. Um, it does open up through the back so you can um, get all of her hair through. And then you just have to kind of get her sleeves on and things. But surprisingly easy to put on. Okay. Again, good quality construction on these pieces. Like the ends are actually like cuffed. There's a lot going on on these. It's a little tight on her. Just going over the shirt, which is already kind of one of the bigger shirts, as you can kind of see. Makes her look kind of extra, extra busty. But it's still really cute. So there are lots of things to have on this one. She is gorgeous. She's got, again, a little bit of brown, but that pink is in there. And she does have a little rose on her cheek as well. So, very cute. We are here for that. I don't know if I love the top as much, but I do love how it goes with the outfit. Like, it pulls the outfit together more than just the regular top. So the last piece that we're looking at is our surprise. Again, this is a yellow one compared to the lime green. Let's see who we got. Still not the apples. Uh, this is the cookie thing, I think. Mm. I don't know. I am not a Disney World um, snacker, I usually bring them out much. There we go. Or just buy like a churro or something. It's this one. So close. Right side. I want the pink one. I'm going to be very sad if I have to buy it aftermarket. Because I probably won't buy duplicates of these dolls until they go on like super sale. But next one up is our Snow White doll. She's a much more evil queen than Snow White, which I feel like they kind of do that a lot with Ariel. So they did it with Sleeping Beauty also. They made her fashion pack more Maleficent than Sleeping Beauty. Uh, so this one is much more evil queen, which I'm fine with. I love the evil queen, but market it as the evil queen then. Um, but she's really cute. She's got a red balloon. She's got the um, apple ears up 
there. She's got what I think is like a an autograph book, and she's got some glasses, a purse, and then this big coat. So we'll see. She's very cute. There she is on the side with the glasses on. And then here is her new PC right there. And there she is right there in the middle, her full outfit. So let's get her unboxed and I'll be right back. All right, we have got our Snow White inspired doll out of the box. She is very cute. Let's take a closer look at her face. So she's very similar to the Jasmine doll that we got in series one. She's got very vibrant blue eyes. She's got some fun earrings under there. Fun earrings, just like that. She again has an apple on her cheek. If you don't like this, they come off really easily with just a little bit of acetone. Um, she's got a very cool bracelet that's reminiscent of the box that the Evil Queen sends after um, sends with the Huntsman to bring Snow White's heart back in. So, very, very cute. Very cute shoes. They have a gold bottom. Her outfit is just one piece. So this is all just a dress. And she's really cute. So let's take a look at the rest of the stuff that she comes with. Actually, let's put her glasses on first. So. Again, here's her glasses. They do actually have lenses. Um, I generally like to put these on completely over the head, more like a headband, just because it's a little bit easier to keep it under the hair than to just... Um, than to keep trying to put the uh, glasses back on their face. They have ears, but their ears are not great for holding glasses. So I generally prefer to do it like this. As you can see, the strap is running behind her eyes. You can adjust as needed and it stays on in place. Very cute. And you're not worried about your glasses popping off your face every two seconds. Here is her purse that she comes with. A cool apple on there. I guess this is supposed to be a bag of like apple slices because it's, I guess it's a Ziploc bag. I don't know, very random. And then her jacket is very cute. I thought I got all the uh, staples. I guess I missed some. Okay, yep. And it does have a little Snow White right there. Very cool. It's a little thin, uh, just overall but it's not bad. It's just uh, a little a little flimsy compared to some of our jackets that we've gotten. But let's put it on and see how she looks in it. And thankfully, because these are wider sleeves, you shouldn't have to worry so much about the um, arms actually going in and the hands popping out. That's the nice part of a three quarter length jacket is that your hands aren't as big of a deal as like with a full jacket. So we put it on like that. Very cute. She's got kind of a punk rock aesthetic. Very cute like that. And that, 
is it except for her balloon. So let's see who we got in her balloon. Okay. Oh, what did we get? What did we get? What did we get? Oh, churros. Dang, so close. Um, churros are really cool anyway, so it's not bad. But I'm still a little bummed that I haven't gotten the Minnie Mouse candy apple, but that's okay, I guess. So these are all really cute. They are all articulated. They did fix the hip joints on them so the legs don't pop off anymore. And I think they look awesome. I still want them to add in the double articulated elbows. I think that would be amazing if they could do that just for the posability, especially since so many of them have jackets that would cover it anyway. But I do love the Jack Specific that they give you an entire second outfit. But, you know, it is what it is. These are really cute. I'm glad they have the food items again. So if you guys enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. All right, y'all. Be good. Bye.